set the food bowls down on my bench cushion yeah. and it's frozen. Uh -oh. It crunched. It crunched. crunched. It crunched. <laughs> Good morning, boys. Hi, Mart Mart. These two are waiting up here on the heating pads. I don't blame them and Tux is under the bench. Good morning, Tux. There you are. Here's Stripe. Everyone's here. Yay! And there's Ruby coming out with her pretty wreath waiting for her. The blue hour. It's so pretty. See? Blue hour. Well, thank goodness everyone's behaving this morning and staying in their respective spot. And yeah, well, we always we knew Marty went back and forth between the two bowls. Try to let poor Stripe eat in peace. But Tux is where he's supposed to be. That's the really important thing. Doing the morning check to make sure the heating pads are on. I can see them out the window if I need to. I hear Don on the crunchy driveway. He's going to get the paper. I didn't look at the temps, but we were supposed to go down to 26 last night, so it's clearly in the 30s out there, something in the 30s. Alright, well you two enjoy your breakfast. Your water looks good. This time of year, the possums and the raccoons stop washing their feet in it. And sometimes I change it every other day. Just depends. I'm in and out long enough I can... often enough that I can... Um, Keep up with it. Oh, I'm moving a little slow. I'm tired. It's cold. I did have my coffee though. Good morning, Ruby. Well, Ruby says it's 34 and she's been sitting outside for a while, so I think that's accurate. And it is going to be a sunny day today. It's just only going to get up into the 40s, I think. So when Don and I walk, it's going to definitely be on the colder side. Johnny has his big math exam today, his college math class. So let's wish him good luck on that. Good skill. He's certainly been working to prepare for it. I'm headed to the chiropractor, but instead of 11 a.m., it's 12 a.m. today or noon p.m. Yeah, it's noon. Let's just call it noon, 12 p.m. And um, it's a little later in the morning is what I was trying to say. It won't leave me quite as much time to go over to Guardian Angel Apex or decide to go to Whole Foods as usual. But um, I'll have a little bit of a window. Well, our ETA is 7.27 a.m. So not early and not late. Hopefully there won't be any delays. So far so good. Traffic doesn't seem quite as light today as it did yesterday. sun comes up and illuminates the trees it's still quite pretty out here so I wondered why Ruby's showing me the speed limit is still 45 every day and I finally figured it out that you know they put in that new turn lane in the northbound uh, 401 across the highway from Costco and that's where the 55 sign was the actual speed limit sign was and when they put in the turn lane they took it down and they haven't put it back um, and so now she thinks it's 45 all the way to where it actually goes back to 45 I mean it was 45 temporarily coming through the stop sign at or stoplight at 1010 Road the Hardee's the Harris Teeter Food Lion intersection where the sheets is stuff but um, then it went back up to 55 and um, yeah she's still thinks it's 45 here although I have to say we, it's really only about a two mile stretch so maybe not the end of the world and wouldn't it surprise me if it was going to be put down to 45 for good you know because we need more access to the highway and slower speeds for us commuters that's what we need not morning getting right at the split was super easy nobody coming I love mornings like that I really do not just one lane but two lanes over it's great wish all the mornings were like that here's the actual split 
I can get downtown obviously going the other way but um, it's farther west and um, a little bit more difficult navigation and not as great a view so <laughs> for multiple reasons I prefer to go this way. Well, that's the prettiest tree in the parking lot over here now. I did get Johnny dropped off on time, but it's already 734. So I can't stay stopped as long today as usual, but I put myself in the gym, the Pokemon Go gym at Cookout yesterday. I can reach it from here. But I tell you that they went back to the expanded geo distance, thank God. And, um, my Pokemon are still over there, so there's not as much to do. There's no gym to take down or, you know, Pokemon to stick in the gym or any of that stuff. This car continues to be here every morning. I think it's an employee. But yesterday, somebody else was parked about where Ruby is, and I was a couple spaces down, and they had their music thumping the whole time I was here. So, I don't miss that this morning. It's a light moon set up there pretty all right I'm cold enough I'm getting back in Ruby well I've been the first car multiple times today and let's just say I might have been having a little bit of fun maybe just maybe especially with the XC40 you know <laughs> they just shouldn't even try I just might have been having a little too much fun this morning I have that I've been driving my Tesla smile today you know what was different today instead of listening to my book on the way home I listened to my music on the way home I'm always in trouble I'm listening to my music <sighs> guys and pickup trucks this morning yeah I might have had just a little too much fun if I make them rev their engine you know yesterday or the day before Somebody in a Honda was next to me. I don't know what was wrong with them, but I swear their engine got so loud they must have redlined it. I'm like, why? Like, what delusion were they under? Like, why? Like, I didn't even try. <sighs> yeah, I had a little too much fun today. I looked at my driving score um, coming through Fuquay, and it's still a, overall a 98. But going in this morning, I had a hard braking event, and so far today I was a 96. Um, let's see. I'm in park. I'm at the cul-de-sac. I haven't gone down the driveway yet. And let's open the door and get my butt off my seat for a minute and see what the score is because I think I'm going to have an aggressive turning event <laughs> on this drive home. I think so this time. Let's see how fast it updated the driving score. I have two trips instead of one. I'm still at overall 98. That's good. Don't want to be, don't want to go down any more daily details. Yeah, aggressive turning. Miles driven 44, so it did update. Let's see. I'm interested in trip aggressive turning. <laughs> it's in the red. It is. <laughs> well, I knew I was in a little bit of trouble when the tissue box that never moves from the center console ended up in Johnny's seat over there. Yeah, I do. I wasn't speeding though. I wasn't. I absolutely was not. <laughs> yeah, so my safety score today stayed at a 96. Oh well. I'll just be really good the rest of the day and get a hundred and uh, you know, even it out in the wash, even it out in the wash. Can't guarantee a hundred, but if I even try at all, I can get a hundred, so yeah. Elon better come up and get my cameras upgraded so I start caring again. <laughs> or not. This is the coldest we've walked. Yeah, this is, a, and the wind is blowing out. I have on two pairs of exercise pants and four tops. Two are long sleeve and two are short sleeve. Well, I have a sweatshirt on. <laughs> and I have my hoodie, my sweatshirt hoodie up too because it's just 
cold. I come in the house all fired up from that fun Tesla driving experience. I'm expecting to bottom out quick in the middle of the in the middle of the walk. Right when we started to move, a car came. They slowed. Thank you. And put that crosswalk there right at the curve. It's not the best situation. But if you're listening and paying attention and they're not doing a hundred, you'll be okay. Red shouldered hawk is up there. He just squawked big time. Let me see if I can zoom in and show him to you. Why I am plagued by these really loud vehicles near me when I'm filming. Like really? Okay, there he is. They've uh pulled out the uh, mobile temporary generator so whatever was wrong I like their braces for the wheels they had the rocks there just to make sure that generator didn't accidentally slide into the equipment whatever works is on Corzellas I'm sure they won't be looking good too many more mornings at 26 degrees but they're looking good still yeah, definitely wishing the trail was a little sunnier. However, there's a little wind this morning and all those trees, they make shade and they also block wind. So, like six in one, half dozen in the other. For a half a second, I thought, God, we should have gotten the Fleming Loop yeah, we out in the sun. That. But then I think I'm not sure I would have been too happy oh, about the wind. wind. Yeah. yeah, I should have said Don looks the same today, but he has on that panther sweatshirt underneath the other hoodie. Plus a short sleeve shirt or a long sleeve shirt underneath that. So he yeah. looks the same, but he's actually got on more. more. I refuse to wear gloves and yes, my right hand stings. Oh, well. It's Tuesday and uh, they're not exercising or at least they're not exercising outdoors. They must have a temperature threshold and we're below it. <laughs> Can't say I blame them, although on... Thanksgiving week, I wouldn't want to miss my daily exercise, my normal exercise routine. Kind of need it double Thanksgiving week, right? Don's on his conference call. I carried a big piece of cardboard to the uh, trash area. Didn't want to clog up a whole trash bin with it. Extra people here this morning. It's not that warm. I'm thinking our time today can't be too slow. Uh, 50. 2326, 2.88 miles, uh, 6,367 steps, and 18 minutes 30 seconds per mile. Not bad. Not bad at all. I've decided that it's time. Uh oh. I'm trying to remember where it was. It's not there. Maybe it's under autopilot. I want to unenroll you. Okay. Leave us unenrolled long enough for it to reset. 48 hours. And then re-enroll us. All right. So you're going to start driving, huh? Yes. Every admin in the local Triangle Tesla has the beta except for me. I'm the only one and they were chatting up a storm about it this morning and other people have been chatting with me about it and I'm just mm -hmm. I need it now I'm tired I'm of waiting I'm, I'm upset <laughs> right well I only have to get a hundred miles and I only have to you know get the score right and then I'll probably have to wait for 10.6 because 10.5 just went out if they're even granting it to new people but at any point well, we'll, we'll we're just drive yeah yeah you some miles yeah let you do all the drive <laughs> that's exactly yeah. Burr. But that doesn't mean that I don't have to give my kitties attention, especially yeah. when I'm off for the day. Yeah. He came out of the woods talking to me all happy and yeah, he's but a good boy. It's getting time that I'm going to have to start putting out your little tushy pad. I think I noticed it when I sat down. It's a good thing that I have on two pairs of leggings. Like I'm on my galaxy girl. I yeah, feel galaxy like I need girl. to talk to our friend Dennis yeah. who has that iridescent purple 
um, wrap on his car because these would be like uh, the perfect exercise yeah. pants to go cruising in the iridescent model three yeah because that's like uh, the galaxy pattern or something that's on that car so yeah this was this is a little open yeah like i need a scarf with this sweat, particular sweatshirt would have been better but i was warm everywhere else except for the hoodie wasn't quite i needed a scarf if i'd had a scarf i'd have been perfect this morning understand Way cool. Your turn. Stripe moved out of the way. Come here. He's got a boo-boo up by his ear. But um, he hadn't seemed like he had a fever that he needed antibiotics. So I do have antibiotics. No, don't go in there. Gray's in there. She's not going to want you in her territory. She's not going to want that. Are you going to come closer? You're wasting your rubbing opportunity. I got to go inside. Come on, bud. Come on. Come here. I'm trying to get my arm out so if he tries to make a run for it, which is what he's thinking about doing, I can stop him. Well, it's not my fault. You could have been getting loved on this whole time. Oh, here comes the meter reader now. They're all going to scatter. We saw him parked. Yeah. The guy with the pickup truck is going to cause all of them to run. He's just coming to read our meter. Electric meter. So I decided I would leave my normal time and head to Guardian Angel Apex first with the hope of having enough time to go to Whole Foods after. Um, yeah, I have several more appointments scheduled out into December and they're all for 11 a.m. which is my preferred time, but I scheduled a little late for this week and that's why I got the noon slot. You know, just to shake things up a little bit and make them more interesting. So somehow I have, I need six more exercise minutes today. That is so not fair. I don't, we ran our normal amount. I mean, obviously our pace on the trail was okay. I'm not upset if my heart is doing better and um, being more efficient and not keep, not staying over 120 as long. That's really actually a good thing. Um, but I was thinking, well, I don't park very close at Guardian Angel Apex. I suppose I could run. Um, up there to, from the car to the door we'll see come on car i want to hear the todd rundgren version not the uh england dan john foreign coley version no 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 after suffering through the other version i just had to put on the right version yeah it's all right turns well after the first one um but i can go out on the other side of the shopping center and then it's a right turn too um so it says I need six minutes. So I, I easy got 45 minutes in here. No Legos again. Bummer, bummer, bummer. But, 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 Michelle says she can go shopping tomorrow. I'm so excited. Any guys looking for an ugly Christmas suit? I got a lot of new sweaters to choose from today. Not all ugly. Presents, then pancakes. Don likes presents, then cinnamon frosted biscuits. Muffins, uh, well, they're biscuits, I guess, yeah. That is really pretty. I don't have any place to put that. That's my camera case thing, and Michelle's helped me find them. They're Vera Bradley, they're hard to find. Look what they have here today, and I don't have one. I have not had that fabric. Very excited about that. I already have two new Vera Bradley things. One for me, one for Michelle, and there's even more to choose from. All right, I've left myself uh, eight minutes total to get there. So it looks like I have one minute to spare. I couldn't run back to the car. I did run up to the store to try to get some exercise minutes. Although I assure you with everything I was carrying and as fast as I was walking, my breath got up pretty good. So I came out over here on the side just to make sure I could make this right turn. All right, Marianne, calm down. Ruby says you have enough time to get there. Janice does not like for her PMF room to run late. Although, I guess, you know, I've been within one minute a couple of times and that hasn't set off any alarms, but I really want to be respectful and be on time. I looked at my, well, my phone died. I was trying to send pictures to Michelle, so that was really horrible that my phone, I don't carry a battery pack with me, as she well knows. They're too heavy. 
I like to travel light and I try to keep it charged up in the car and I just did a bad job today. But thank goodness I could talk to her a little bit from my watch. <laughs> my watch is on the cell network and I love that feature because I got off, fired off a round of pictures and she was able to respond and my phone had died but the response came in so on my watch. So if they would just allow my watch to take even crappy pictures, you know, good enough for Michelle to see what it is pictures, that would be that would be a feature I would want. Even if it's, like I said, even if they're crappy pictures, crappy in resolution would be good enough um, for emergencies, like I'm at this location or something. Um, that would be a feature I would be willing to pay a little bit more for. Anyway, I did get a few things, some for me, some for Michelle. Um, and uh, I'll show them to you when I get home. I'm at 27 to 30 exercise minutes, so I'm going to have to find one more short run to do today. He's using that high-powered blower to move those leaves. I heard it from inside. And I told Janice, who's Camaro that is over there, that I needed to get out and get to Ruby because if he was doing that near Ruby, I was going to have a meltdown. I do not approve. Do not approve. Can I say it one more time? They had not done Ruby's side yet, although he was definitely blowing stuff across from underneath Janice's car toward where I was. Oh, that's upsetting. The main thing I need from Whole Foods is um, celery and carrots for underneath my turkey so it doesn't stick to the bag, the oven roasting bag that I like to use. Um, used to be in the winter time I would have celery and carrots in the refrigerator all the time but um, not anymore and uh, if I do ever use carrots they were mostly be for Johnny and I use the baby carrots and I really want some like real long normal looking carrots so anyway because I had lots of extra time to deal with traffic jams something's going on out here on 64 it's taken forever I should still have enough time to go into Whole Foods, but I would prefer to have the cushion than not be losing the cushion here. All right, I have an hour to navigate Whole Foods, and oh my God, there are too many people in the store. Just take me home, Ruby, take me home. The road is crazy, now the shopping's gonna be crazy. They do have turkeys, oh, they even have turkey and mashed potato. <laughs> hey, Donnie. Girl. How's it going? Yeah, it's going okay. So you heard I had all kinds of goodies in the fr in the frunk, and you came out to help with exactly uh, right. get those in the house. Okay. I came out to help. That's huh. right. Food. All right. So um, there's a bag that has glass and heavy stuff, and it's not singles. And it's a single, and it's sort of torn. Uh oh. <laughs> so how about handling that for me and just yeah? I'm gonna pop the frunk. You can go open it. And thank you for coming out to help. You're welcome. Hey, Marty. Hi, Mart. He just walked over there and threw himself down in the sunny like So, spot. Butcher Box came today and Don took care of um, putting it in here and shuffling things so the oldest stuff was on top. And That's right. Yeah, I guess I don't need any more meat for the freezer right now, you think? Yeah, we're probably pretty good. Let's yeah, I think the garage refrigerator is kind of full, too. And there she is. She's home from shopping. A happy shopper. I just been in a... Perky mood today. Perky, perky. That's right. So I promised you I'd take you through the stuff, uh -huh. and um, Don will recognize this. It's a, yeah, it's one of those cap covers. It's right. just super we, size. Right. We use the little ones on our coffee cups, and then this big one is it's for like, like a salad bowl, a casserole. A, yeah, sure. You know, a prep bowl for dinner. Uh, so it was two bucks at. At Hallmark New, even on Amazon, oh there are a lot more, especially yeah, yeah. the big one. You'd be surprised how much a piece of silicone costs. Yeah. So that was a good deal. Um, I really like these Aww. little ornaments for the Christmas tree. It was a dollar twenty-nine, and there's like nine of them, something like that. They're pretty little. I like the blue better than the clear, but the clear are also yeah. pretty. So you got to add a couple of new ornaments to the tree every year. Oh yeah. And I haven't decided if I'm parting with this to Connor, which was the general idea. I just don't know if I can part with it or not. Uh -huh. It's 
it's a piece of ceramics. It looks not a painted. little bit like my Victorian stuff. It's meant to be... Yeah, but it's not painted. Right, it's a piece of real ceramic. And somewhere, 1979 was the copyright on the... Mm. Based on how it sounds, I think it was fired one time. It's not greenware, but it all... But yeah, it it's been painted. fired. But that doesn't mean it can't be painted. So it's probably... I'm probably going to let it go to Connor. So Connor yeah. can... Decorate it up. Decorate it up. And then... This looked a little um, Harry Potter to me. So that's headed to Michelle's house for her tree. Yeah, okay. Um, it says, teacher, you rate an A plus 1997. But I'm thinking uh, that goes right along with Harry Potter too because it's a school, right? So we'll just leave those two things in there. Okay. Packed up like that. And then Don's going to go, thank God this is for Michelle. Oh, it is? Thank God it's for Michelle. Michelle loves her stuffed animals. Oh, it's a unicorn. It's a llama. llama. Yes, it's a llama. Yeah, a llama for a hot mama. Burton, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Burton is the name of the... Yeah, I okay. Guess he does have some metal in his legs, so I think if you wanted yeah, to try to get him to you stand... You can make him stand up, I'm You sure. probably can, because there is wire Oh, Jarvis there. is going to enjoy him. Well, Michelle does buy stuffies just for Jarvis, so... If, if he does, that'll be, that'll be okay. That'll be not unexpected. All right, so we'll just stick him in the shell box. Yeah. Isn't it cute? I thought it was so cute. Yes. It's very cute. All right. Um, okay. I was momentarily called into mom duty. Um, but I'm back now. So this is Michelle. Like I said while I was in there, they had a lot of new Vera Bradley, and this is one of those pieces. Wow. Uh, this is a cosmetic case. Ooh. Um, I also thought there was a possibility, and I do think this is just like hard cardboard. Or paper. Yeah, just to keep it. Um, you know, never can tell with Michelle. She might use it for jewelry, but I thought she would like this pattern and um, the durability of it in case she wanted to use it for jewelry stuff. And so yeah. that's for her, so. <gasps> Michelle box. <laughs> and then, uh, th let's see. This was my find find of the day. Oh. Tear off the price before Don sees it. I keep asking if these ever, these little wallets and purses ever come, come with, with the money. money. <laughs> so she this keeps is telling my, me they don't. Right, this is my pink. And yellow gold camera. Doesn't it have case. a pocket? No, it's just like the one I have for when that one wears out. They last me about a year, or if it gets wet or dirty in some way, I have to swap out sooner. With COVID, I was swapping yeah. about once a month because we're washing to, them a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and oh, a big one. It had, goes with the little this, one. This is used, but this is the matching purse that goes with the little one and I was like yeah springtime mama thinking that would be just yeah. right for next year so that was cool yeah and um oh boy gloves yeah pink gloves have to have a pair even if I'm loath to wear them well right. now those are the really fancy ones it's going to be able to keep you from uh, it's hard to get on when we run in the morning I don't have on my rings except for a couple of little yeah. around the house bands not my wedding ring I can't get that Sucker's not. Yeah. Wow. Girl color too. Yeah. And oh, that's pretty impressive. A couple of strings. No big deal. I mean, they look uh, pretty new. Unworn. Yeah. Like somebody wore them and then didn't really wear them. Um, yeah. Well, they probably had rings. Yeah, they are. Well, they are attached. They're supposed to be. Um, they were two bucks, and they. I do think they said they had the champion. Their champion brand. Wow. So they're they are a real brand. Real name. Real name. And then, oh boy, she has her hat. I thought that this um, was big enough for my silly head, and it would match a lot of my colors. Aww. So, I guess it sticks up too high. No. It's actually inside out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what happens every time. My thing comes off. And no, then, I'm sorry. Poor kitten. All right, let's try that one more time with the cuff in the right direction and everything. Yeah, there you go. There. Well, you look like a 70s girl. I don't care. I, I like color. Like a 70 I can deal curls. with it. I can also deal with my hair being all over the place now. Oh, well. 
I I let the other kitty cat oh, go, but I couldn't no. leave this one there. Can't not do it's, have that. It's like the mermaid kitty cat, and then you know if you need stress relief, you can play. With oh the yeah, right. So that was kind of cool. And then I'm almost done. Oh. oh. Uh, a fairy tale garden, a fairy garden outside. Yeah. A dollar. I guess I like dreaming of the lives of all of these people that get to live in the fairy gardens. And they had a couple of willow tree that I don't have. Okay, I One see says that. birthday girl, and this was just the teapot. Let's see what this one's. Angel of the kitchen is what she is, and she has her little teapot. I collect willow tree, and there aren't too many I don't have because of guardian angel. But And yeah. then a little kitty, which may go outside next to a fairy garden, except for as small as he is. He's still pretty big. <laughs> yeah. He was uh, 59 cent. One of these was $3 and one of them was $2, which is really cheap in comparison to new. Way so, cool. I looks like quite a find today. I had a good time in there today. I was almost late. It's probably not a good idea to go there before my chiropractor appointment because I had trouble leaving. I bet.